Good day to all of you engineers and welcome back to Waltz. Now, this is the second question for ESAT uh, subject. And uh, I hope makatulong ulit ito just like the last one. Uh, kung hindi man makatulong sa inyo ito na, ma- na makadiscover ng bagong way of solving things. At least sa board exam, lumabas siya. At uh, kahit man lang kahawig, lumabas siya. Para kung alam mo na kasi yung basic Pagdating sa board exam, konting manipulation na lang. Kuhang-kuha mo na yan. No? Now, yun naman talaga ang purpose nitong Waltz. Ang purpose niya, makatulong sa iba, sa karamihan, na pagdating ng board exam, eh, may, 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 may isasagot at eventually papasa sa board exam kung hindi man magiging top notcher. Okay? So, simula na tayo. Ako nga ulit pala si uh, Engineer Melvin Arceo. It will be with you throughout the answer, the communication topics. Okay, so without further ado, let us now start. The subject of ESA, the topic is noise calculation. Here's the problem. In microwave communication system, determine the noise power in dBm. Take note, ng nasa choices natin ay naka dBm for an equivalent noise bandwidth of 10 megahertz. Okay, simply lang naman ang pag-solve ng uh, noise power tama pn noise power is equal to k t b okay at alam naman natin yung k that is the boltzmann constant that is uh, 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23 the unit is joules per kelvin okay yung temperature if you will notice doon sa problem natin, wala naman binigay na temperature. So, we're going to use the standard ambient temperature and that is equal to 17 degrees Celsius. But, take note, pag gumagamit tayo ng temperature, whenever we compute the noise power, the temperature must be in Kelvin. So, mag add lang tayo ng 273 para ang magiging unit na is Kelvin. Okay? So, we have converted the uh, temperature to Kelvin. Now, yung bandwidth is, of course, given. Kita naman natin yan. That's 10 megahertz. So, ty- 10 times 10 to the 6 hertz. That's 10 megahertz. We can now solve for the PN. But take note, the PN is or must be in dBm. So, yung PN natin, kung gagawin natin siyang dBm, uh, lang natin, no? Yan. Okay. So, yung PN natin, kung naka-DBM, so, this will be 10 log of your PN, that is KTB, okay, where ang reference power natin is 1 milliwatts. Tama? Okay. So, given na yung K, pwede nyo na substitute Yung T, pwede na natin makuha yan. It's, this is actually 290 Kelvin. Okay. And then, of course, the bandwidth is 10 times 10 to the 6 hertz. And the reference power will be 1 milliwatts. We can now solve for the noise power in dBm. And that will be equal to what? That will be equal to... Oh, bakit lagi nabubura? <laughs> Ayan, balik natin ulit. And it will be equal to approximately negative 104 dBm. Alright, okay, so the answer is letter D, negative 104 dBm. Sana nakatulong sa inyo to. Thank you for viewing and I hope this will help you pass the board exam. Thank you very much.